What's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something different, but not. It's still a try on haul. It's still online shopping, but I have never shopped at any of these brands before. They're still, most of them are still in their packages. I'm going to unbox them with you and try them on and we're gonna go through the full experience. So I got this video idea from Laura Lee. She did it a little bit differently on her channel. She shopped off of Instagram ads for a week straight where I only did a day. So I only shopped at three brands. I don't know how that girl did a week straight. I would have packages literally loaded all behind me. Because I'm doing an unboxing and try on haul, I'm just gonna get right into this video. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so it looks like I got two items. I can't even remember what I purchased because I purchased these items back at the end of January. So this company was definitely the weirdest out of the three that I ordered from. It was 10 day shipping to receive your items within 10 to 30 business days, which I think is ridiculous, or $15 for two to five business days for shipping, which obviously is like better, but not great either. So I really wanted to see how long it would take. It definitely didn't take 30 days, but it did take about two weeks to come. So each item comes in this little sable packaging. I get why companies do this. It's to make their pieces look more elevated, protect them through shipping, because this is an Australian brand, I'm pretty sure. At least it's recyclable, but what's the point? So the first item I picked out is this cute knit. Oh my God, they're actually really thick. This quality is like as nice as this comfy sweater I'm wearing. So it's these knit pants. You can see they're really long. They flare out just a little bit on the ends. No pockets or anything, but that's fine. I think this is so cute to work from home or I just spent Valentine's weekend in New Hampshire. These would have been perfect to lounge around the house in. These were the Zenith pants and they were originally $78. We're gonna try these on. Are these pants worth $78? Okay, so they were $78, but I didn't pay $78 for pants. You're never gonna see that on this channel. So I paid $38.40 and they are a final sale item. So I better love them. The top came in a separate bag as well. And here is the knit top. So obviously it's a matching set. The top was also $78 but I paid 38. So the quality is amazing. This is going to be very comfy. I love that it's just monochromatic. The buttons are all the same color. They do at least put their tag on the item. So they were established in 2011 and designed in Australia. At least you're getting authentic items from them and it's not something that they just picked out at a warehouse and you can get it at your local boutique or Forever 21. So I like that. I think this will be very cute. So let's go try it on. This is everything I wanted it to be and more. I love how big the sleeves are and how they balloon out. I love the cut of the top, how it's shorter in the front so you can see the little tie detail, but then it dips in the back. I would definitely wear this with either a lace bralette or a cami bralette. I think it would just be a lot more comfortable than this lace bra I'm in and like worrying about falling out, especially if you're wearing it working from home. Look how tight knit this is. So then looking at the pants, they are high-waisted, which is what I prefer. You're not really getting anything from my backside, but they are so warm and cozy. They hit at the perfect length. Look how long. They're not like extra cropped or anything. I could wear these with my ultra mini slippers, like the Ugg dupes I have, and they would look so cute. So cute. This is my favorite so far. So far. It's the first, it's the first thing I've tried on. Yeah, it's my favorite. Now I have always, always wanted a bikini from Monday Swimwear. So I'm so happy that they were one of the ads that popped up on this day out of all days and they're 50% off and had a ton of colors and sizes still left. So I ordered this on January 25th and it shipped the next day and then I received it on February 2nd. So pretty quick because I'm pretty sure they're an overseas brand as well. This packaging is recyclable. I like this. 
This is cute. You're gonna remember this packaging and this brand. Shipping was $8, but I think if it's coming from an international company, I just don't see the problem with that at all. This has been sitting on my closet floor for a little while. But look, everything comes in like individual. I don't get it. I don't get it if it's because it's an insanely expensive bikini and that's why they do it, or if this is just something that a lot of overseas brands do. I just don't get why. So the bottoms are the Isla Mujeres bottoms in toffee in a size small. I can't believe I have to try this on for you. It's winter, girl. I don't look that great. <laughs> It's gonna look a lot better on me with a tan. I thought this color was really cute because I really do not get tan. I don't really get color. So even at my darkest, this won't look nude on me or like I'm naked. I think it'll be the perfect shade. And then for the top, I got the Isla Mujeres top in a size large. I went off of their size guide. So I'm typically a 32 triple D and this is the size that um, Devin wears that was modeling it. So the cups definitely look like they're going to fit me. The quality is, it's nice. My good American bikini quality felt a lot better than this. I'm still gonna try it on. It could be like the perfect absolute fit. It's definitely thin. There's no padding. I don't like padding in my tops whatsoever. It scrunches so you can expand it or make it a little bit tighter. It does tie in the back and then the straps tie on top. I mean, it's double lined, like I like the little gold details on the ties, but I'm scared to even say what this bathing suit originally costs. $170. $170 for a bathing suit? That's insane to me. I almost didn't even purchase it because even 50% off, I paid $85, not counting shipping. So $84.60 for our bathing suit. I don't know. This better blow my socks off. So let's let's go try her on. I feel like I could have a spray tan, a blowout, lashes, teeth whitened, and I would still hate this bathing suit. I don't know what it is. I just feel like for them selling it for this price point, it's doing nothing for me. I don't know. I don't I don't love her. I really don't love her. I don't like the color that much either. I could just be being a wicked hater. It's doing something weird to my boobs. It's so tight over here that it's giving like two boobs. I, I don't feel confident. I don't feel good. So here's a closer look at the color. I don't know, Monday swimwear. I don't know if your bathing suits are worth this price point. I'm not sure what it was about this next brand, but as soon as the package came in, I opened it right up where these I waited. So these have already been unboxed and worn, but I will review each item with you. So when I purchased these, they shipped the next day and they got here a day before Monday swimwear. So great, great service. But let's talk product. If you watch my videos regularly, then you've already seen me wear this in a recent video. So it's just a shacket, like an over shirt. I like the flannel shirling on the outside and the inside is not super soft. So it's a really good layering piece. I've been wearing this with like long sleeve. I've actually worn this like three times already. It's so comfortable. My only complaint is the buttons don't stay buttoned. So I could never wear this with just a bra or like a sports bra or something like that because halfway throughout the day they're completely unbuttoned and i'm like whoa ah, how is my shirt falling off like what is going on so i do like it i ordered it in a size small i definitely could have sized up it just looked more oversized on the model and i like things clearly big and baggy and comfy in these cold winter months so even though i've already unboxed these items i haven't tried on these other two it was just that jacket i had to wear and keep wearing so the next item is definitely more winter appropriate, but as soon as I took it out of the packaging, I wanted to return it. The color, I don't know how I feel about it. It's just like a gross green to me. I thought it was gonna be darker. I did size up, I believe, yep, this is a medium. They didn't have a small, so I just grabbed the medium. I figured it's a puffer coat, I'll wear it. So I like that it has this in the back to cinch in the waist and like really sit on your waist if you're wearing leggings. I haven't tried it on yet. I could love it. I could just be being a hater. I didn't think it was gonna be this like 
faux leather either. I already have a brown faux leather puffer. I didn't want another one. I don't know, it's, this just isn't what I was expecting at all. It is great quality, like it's super puffy. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum is this thin summer dress. So this I picked up in a size small. I just figured it would be great for summer. It was on sale. I'll definitely wear it. So I like that it has a high neck. My only worry is that my chest might spill out of the side. So I'm hoping that the neck will tie up high enough and not cut super low. The back is open. So it's cute. It's definitely a mini dress, but you could dress this down with sandals. You could dress it up with like a little low heel. It is very thin. It's not the satin dress quality you're gonna get from Zara, but if you're wearing it out on a warm summer night or like to an event during the day, this would definitely be perfect. You won't be dying in it. So let's go try her on. Even though I've already worn this on video for you guys, I wanted you to see the full potential. This is a huge chunky knit underneath and it still fits perfectly. I wouldn't style it this way. I would definitely wear something not as heavy, so I don't think a bobble head, but the quality is amazing. It is so soft. I absolutely love this flannel with the silver details, matches like my usual jewelry. Oh my God, I don't even think I said what the brand was. This was 12th Tribe, 12th The Tribe. Did I miss that? Did I miss that already? I was definitely being a hater. This isn't the worst thing in the world I've ever seen. And I am glad I sized up for a medium. The color is just a little off to me, but I definitely think I can style it, especially if I was wearing something. I mean, I don't hate it with the chunky sweater underneath. I like where it hits, especially if I can cinch in the waist. I do think it would be even cuter if I was in something shorter and then wearing this, that way you could like see my bum a little bit. So I'm gonna keep it. It's not that bad. I was being mean. It's really not that bad. This is cute. I don't think this dress is a good fit for me just for like my body type. I, it's obviously pulling really tight in my chest area where it shouldn't be pulling right here, which is then causing it to gape a lot. It also feels very crooked and very short. So just poorly made. I like the open back concept. I like here up but it obviously does not fit me well i have to pick this up a lot more but i can't do that because then it would be too short and it's already too try and it's crooked so the seams on the side like one is going forward a lot more and the other one is going backwards and then i try and straighten it out and then look what the neckline does and when i straighten out the neckline the whole dress is crooked just crooked and I know these are symmetrical I, I paid big bucks for those to be symmetrical so yeah this dress is a no is it worth full price absolutely not that's going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this different type of content make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel leaving a thumbs up and a comment on the video lets me know if you enjoyed this type of content and if I should continue to create it. But besides that, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video.